Ciao a tutti, welcome back to ESIM blog. Uh, this is Luca in the kitchen and today I want to show you how to make a beautiful Wagyu beef stew. Uh, it's going to be made with Italian style and vegetables and of course, unmissable, the polenta. I'm inviting you to come closer and have a look what kind of ingredients we're using here. We have uh, il battuto, which is, um, we're going to chop everything down very, very finely. And uh, we have onions and spring onions. We have the carrots and we have the stick of celery. Fantastic ingredients. Then um, we have the blade of the Wagyu beef. So I'm going to cut and trim some of the fat, dice it down. Um, seal it with extra virgin olive oil first gonna add salt and pepper and um, a glass of white wine. The red wine is for the chef and in the meantime I'm also gonna bring you along to this little beauty to make polenta. Now what's polenta? Polenta is, uh, is, is basically something that can combine many other products. I won't say it's a neutral food but it's definitely delicious. Look, um, it can, you want to marry polenta with many things, you can do it with, uh, with prosciutto, you can marry it with, uh, with cheese, uh, in Italy we do gorgonzola cheese and polenta, a little bit of mushroom, it's beautiful for entree but also for mains. So, how are we going to make polenta? We need um, some measuring cups, we measure one half cup of hot water, two half, sorry, and we want exactly to this temperature now we turn it down to simmer and we're gonna add this is a quarter cup so we're using two quarter we have half a cup of polenta and there you go and we start mixing using our beautiful tool here it's very very simple to make similar to couscous if you made couscous before and uh, it's a northern italian traditional food what you want to do um, you want to <laughs> you want to see the polenta i've learned from my nonna to make this she made polenta for 80 years for well, a school so she said polenta she used to say is brontolona brontolona means winch and when someone wins, it goes blow, 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 blow. So we're looking for the bubbles that goes and exactly do like this. Blow, 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 blow. Did you see those bubbles? So we want to keep it to a temperature that is up to that standard. So I need to turn it down and keep mixing, 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 mixing. I'm going to add to it like a, a good pinch of salt, maybe two. We we'll go by the taste. In the meantime, I got my pan here, it's quite hot. I want to seal the meat. I'm gonna chop all my vegetables up, seal the meat first, and then in a little bit of olive oil, and then add the glass of white wine, and then add my vegetable, and let it cook for at least two hours. You ready? I go back to my glass of wine. Cheers. Mm. Well, we need to seal the meat first, so on each side, and make sure once it's sealed, the juices stays inside the meat, so the meat will be soft, okay? So, I add all the rest of the meat that's just been sealed, and we turn the meat, we want very high flame, high temperature, still a problem. The next step, it's a glass of wine. This time, put the meat. Now, this is a delicious, delicious dish that you can prepare a day in advance when you have uh, friends or if you have customers and it's delicious. Prepare a day before so it can rest in your fridge and all the flavors is gonna bond in. I'm also going to add to a little bit of rosemary, which is from my garden, and a little bit of oregano. 
Why? Because you got a fresh. What we're gonna do now, since the wine now has all evaporated, we're gonna add the rest of the vegetables and we're gonna move this pan to a very, very low simmering uh, temperature, okay? Let's have a look at the polenta. Our polenta is now gonna be ready, ready for serving. We're gonna taste it for the saltiness. And this meat, it's gonna cook very, very slowly for two hours. Now, with this polenta, I can make a choice. I can use it fresh as it is, and plate. Um, let's say we make a nice line on the plate, or I can put it into a plastic container, let it set, and then when I take it off the container, you can slice it and grill it, or put it in the oven, or pan fry. That's how dynamic and versatile is this dish. Okay, so I'll be back. Aggiungo adesso un rametto di rosmarino, uh, a little bit of rosemary. Oh, fantastic. And I chop the vegetables. I spread them out. And then I want to show you, um, at this stage you can make the lid. So you can put on top of that the lid as normally as I normally do, or salt and pepper, you can make a lid that let the meat evaporate. Now, if I put the lid on, this is gonna raise in temperature. If I had a slow cooker, I wouldn't have this problem. But today, I'm not using it. So, what I'm gonna show you is how to make a lid of the baking paper. Uh, I get my baking paper, use it like a square, and then, I fold it again in a triangle and another triangle and then into another triangle and then guess what? Into another triangle and then once I'm down to this and I'm gonna do a simple cut like that, open it and place it on top with this part facing down. So, in this way, I'm gonna reduce the evaporation and the meat can cook very, very slowly for two hours. So, I'm taking, uh, looking after now the polenta and taking a look at this glass of wine and we'll see you in two hours. <laughs> Well, the meat has cooked for two hours, then it's been resting in the fridge for one day, and now I'm warming up only a little bit of all we made. And this is what's happening. I've got my polenta ready. Give it a gentle meat. And I got my plate here. So I'm gonna place the polenta, okay, and a little bit more. I'm gonna stretch it down like this and make a little bit of a like a boot kind of shape. I'm gonna place the meat in it. Juice. Fantastico. Beautiful. The smell <laughs> is just unreal. It's incredible. Now, a little bit of pepper on the plate. Fantastico. Just a drizzle of olive oil and a little bit of rosemary and wow this is our wagyu beef stew with polenta buon appetito e un bacio grosso from luca yes i am blog let's see you next time